Okay, welcome back. It's time for Off the Press. I'm sure you're also as eager as I am to discuss the front pages of some national dailies. We've been joined by our usual Monday analyst, Okunabo Nkotaria, political affairs analyst who's joining us from River State. Good morning to you, Okunabo. Good morning. How was your weekend? Well, my job well done and your weekend. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we go for that. What do you mean by that? Stress, trepidation, and tribulation. Wow. Okay. Perhaps we will listen in uh, later on on the show when we'll be talking about uh, mental stress and uh, you know how to avoid suicide and depression and all that. It, 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 has, it has the grace of God to be insulated from mental stress. Yes. In this country. Indeed. Indeed. It Indeed. The of God. Indeed. Not everybody well dressed to see. I can tell you that. Hmm. We have more insane people than sane people in Nigeria, including the leaders. Hmm. You're right there, Kunabo. It does take the grace of God to be sane in Nigeria. I totally <laughs> agree with you. Let's go straight and start with the Daily Independent. And it leads with new acting CBN governor, deputy's assumption of office wrong. And the writer there, lawyers, economists say it's patent illegality, presumptuous. Let's start with that. Well, we live in a country where the, the rule of law is peace and the attitude of justice rather than of power. This is not the first time we're going to have such a situation. What I'm not sure of is whether they were appointed in um, permanent capacity or in acting capacity. If it's in acting capacity, then it is within the remit of the law, subject to confirmation by the National Assembly. It's seen it precisely. But if it's in permanent uh, capacity, then it is very wrong because it needs the Senate in premature to appoint somebody into the centre. Oh, sorry, my dear. Somebody just fell. Okay, I can get it now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. It, hap it happens, it, uh, happens on live TV sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens. There is nothing that doesn't happen in Nigeria, my dear. Everything <laughs> mm. happens in this country. So, <laughs> but it's by fault, not in Nigeria. So, you need um, the Senate's permission, approval. So, I don't know. And you need the Senate's approval to uh, clear those people in permanent capacity. So I'm not too sure if it's active or permanent. Yeah, well, but even if it's in permanent capacity, okay, even if it's in active capacity, it is normal. And because I don't see any reason why we should have persons in active capacity right now. The CBN governor was on trial, former CBN governor was on trial for quite some time. And we had enough time to get somebody in permanent capacity. So I don't know, I don't see why anybody would be in active capacity as to speak right now. But let me about your mind to what happened to Magu. He was rejected based on the DSS report, which is a government parasitical, and this a former Mr. President went ahead to appoint him in active capacity and he remained there for almost five years. Hmm. Simply because Magu was uh how would I say one of the cronies of the former president. And that's why I say we live in a country where the rule of law is and administration of justice and this button. It's not all about the appointment, it's not all about the credibility of anybody, it's not all about the merit, it has to do with meritocracy, mediocrity and not meritocracy. Who you think you are. And that is what is going on right now. A lot of people have accused the president of ethnic declency and allegations they have refuted on several locations. But if you look at the slant, I can tell you that what Mr. President is trying to do is to uh, compensate all those who are responsible for his emergence, fraudulent emergence, as uh, 
president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I am not surprised when a lot of people are against the appointment. But what I'm not sure of is whether it's an active capacity, it is within the virus of the president, or whether it's in permanent capacity. If it's in permanent capacity, then it is absolutely wrong. Hmm. Okay, I guess we we'll just have to see how long they act hmm. to know whether indeed it is acting or... Well, I'll, I'll read out the other part, some other headlines here, and then we dissect them one after the other. Mark tasks National Assembly to prioritize legislation to end controversial elections. The writer there says, 2023 election remains most contentious since 1999. That's a former Senate President David Mark. And then you go down a bit, you have set up Ask Tinubu to probe missing $15 billion 200 billion naira of oil revenues. Insecurity. Okay. Um, okay, fine. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to us about this syrup. I completely agree with David Mark when he said the last election, the 2023 election, was the most uh, corrupt in this country. Not even the 1983 election is as bad as the 2023 election. I can tell you that I say, I'm, I'm a reverse man. And I say it every day that in River State, the man I supported was Ati Bamba. But the man who won the election was Pito. In River State. Mm. Not even in the former governor's war. And the results were delayed for about five, six days before they were announced. And even the results that they uploaded, you could see the discrepancies in the results that they uploaded. Some you could not even ascertain because they were blocked. Yes, they went ahead. Let us look at the issue of the federal capital territory. I get incensed when I, whenever I think of it. If, for example, I say you are to appear, you and your husband must appear at my gates, there is no other interpretation. The Constitution says you must win 25% in Abuja, the federal capital territory. Federal capital territory is not a state. It is not. There are ingredients of the states. The federal capital territory has no state assembly. It has no governor. The, the assembly of the federal capital territory is the national assembly. Federal capital territory has a minister who is at the mercy of Mr. President. Today he can be removed, tomorrow he can be replaced, tomorrow he can, another minister can be appointed. You can't do that if they come. Federal Capital Territory has no commissioners. It has secretaries. It has Minister of State. It has a permanent second. So there is no relationship. It is not a state at all. Now the Court of Appeal is saying is referring to Federal Capital Territory as okay, let us even assume without considering. As a state, 25 percent in that city. Which other explanation do you want? Hmm. Why did you not say 25 percent in River State, in Lagos State, in Bielsa State? Why you say in the federal capital territory? So it is a sequence. It is a prerequisite that you must have that in the federal capital territory. What is it? That alone is a ground for this politician. Hmm. Let us leave all these certificates and all those things. You say those are uh, uh, pre pre election matters. Forget that. What of this one? What will those, permit you, corrupt judges say about this? What? You see, I, I, I tell you, I think I just, it's, it's, it's worse than even a banana. So it is the worst election whatsoever, aided by the judiciary. And that is why they refuse the media to cover life, which suffers from at least of and poverty of blood. Because if you don't cover life, there are reporters in there who will come out and interpret it the way they want. But if you discover life, you have the opportunity to interpret what you see and probably correct. You say no. Because they'll look at the name of the judges. And tell who's a lady justice cried out in this election mm -hmm. 
that her colleagues have been compromised. Nobody should compromise. I'm thought of it is not me now. I've been judging Adam or whatever. Thing. In the last 23 election, what did Bukashawa say? He said most of his colleagues would have been in the national assembly, save his wife, who was president of the of, of the court of appeal. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to explain? It's obvious in this for that proof that the judiciary is corrupt. Which Bukashawa himself said it. The lady justice said it. So it's not a Babo that is saying it. Then what do you say about the federal capital assembly? You do five percent. That alone is enough. Look at what happened in Kenya. Then this other country again, 49, uh, 49%. Where, uh, was it in India or so, when the Supreme Court ordered for the wrong, he did not meet his 50%. They did not approximate, mm -hmm. like they did in the days of Sagari and Awolo, where we had Professor Chikobu. They did not approximate. They said, you had 49 Go for a wrong. Mm -hmm. just say and time was not wasted at all. They didn't even waste time, it, you know, in, in doing that rerun and getting the results out. And Thank you. That is where you have the rule of law. Not in a banana republic like this. It is a shame. It is. But Let I, say, I say every day that what is happening in the Sahel region, may God bring it to this country. Mr. Day, Mr. Day. Mr. Puna, but let's move forward because uh, calling a, for yeah, we can't say amen. To we, we can't say amen to that <laughs> because you uh, know. No, don't say don't say amen because God does God doesn't answer our prayers and God doesn't reject our prayers. Mm -hmm. So don't worry yourself. Pray God, I'll pray my own. Yeah, because we don't want NBC to come <laughs> and handle plus we are not saying Africa. you shouldn't pray. You can pray, but we just can't say amen to that. Okay, so Sarah no, no, is asking. Sarah, <laughs> yeah. Serap is asking Tinubu to probe missing $15 billion and $200 billion of oil revenues. Continue, my sister. <laughs> All right. Um, the Zamfara State uh, issue where students were abducted. Tinubu has asked security agencies to rescue uh, the abducted Zamfara students. You know, they went to this school they and took, took the girls. Hmm. The rapture this. Uh, is it that they adopted this party? Was it not on the issue of security that Buhari was elected? They gave Nigerians false hope. A retired army general, a retired former head of state, a no nonsense man. What happened in the grave? Hmm. The security situation became first start. The man had no clue, nothing whatsoever, under Buhari. Now they started under Tinubu, or they continued under Tinubu. And what do you think Tinubu will do? Give orders. We are used to those rhetorics. High blood pressure of the setting veterans and a danger of concrete performance is what we have in this country. Mm -hmm. You get up one morning, you sip your tea, take your drugs for those that are sick as leaders, Take your drops, you lie down, and you say, go back and tell them. And they have media advisors and those that are in charge of the media that are liars. You start out with lying, Mohammed, that is very uh, adjuvant. They come up, they tell you they have processes for uh, students, students' loan. What has happened so far? Students in their final year are dropping out. Mm. They just lie to the next Go back, collect the money, and say, okay, I have done it. Students in the final year is dropping out? Did you just they say students? They are dropping out because of, yeah. the, because of the economy. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not secret. It's not secret. Why is there now to of crime? It's a combination of crime. It's a combination of issues. Although I don't believe in the NLC crime, because even the NLC chairman are all compromised. You try to strike after two days, you go and sit down, sit down with the president, you laugh, you come back and then the strike is suspended because with the president, are, are you? Who is the first time? While they are discussing with you, they are also going to court. Then an injunction to restrain you from doing those crimes. Are you a fool? Well, How many times has this president gone on strike? How many times? How many times have you signed and suspended? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, uh, okay. Just, just, just uh, and still, and still rubbish. Mm. Okay. If you're going to try, go and try. Until the issues are resolved. Mm. Until the issues are resolved. 
Yeah, let's move. Let's let's move to let's move to um, another newspaper and take it as fast as possible. The Nation newspaper. We would have loved to uh, continue with security when because we've seen the headline: Federal government steps of action against rising insecurity. President gives marching order. Or an ACF raise dust over what, killings. What did your former chief of uh, army staff uh, uh, is telling you about security? Uh, we have and already, we have already spoken about security, and we, we've heard your comments years. about security. That is the former chief of army staff telling you twenty years. I hear they said they were containing this, uh, this insecurity. Let's but look at let's look at a different issue. issue. After collecting so much money, let's look at a different issue, Openabo. Let's look at a different issue. Which is um, okay. after Babalola is saying that okay he said give nigeria new constitution is urging the agf to give nigeria a new constitution that's what our favor balola is saying so i'd like yes, to comment I on agree. that yes i agree balola has been very controversial on some issues mm. the issue is not about exactly. the issue is the interpretation of the constitution and the sincere interpretation of the constitution of our law the problem is has not been the laws you know when the lives of Buddha and Kuhn were the banks and the Supreme Court, they dismissed technicality. Because the law is an ass. It could swing in any direction. It is not about an action, it's about the intent. That is why you can steal a plate of rice and you're sued today. The court will grant you freedom to tell you no, go, because you are hungry. Well, if it's still true, then you're a thief. The law is about intent and sincerity, it's not about technicalities. So it has nothing to do with, I mean, already constitution in Britain. Even you yourself, as an individual, your conscience is a law. There's nothing complicated about it. You sleep with somebody's wife, the man gets you on the spot, he kills you immediately with provocation. You go back and come back and you kill that man with you, you the death. Look, the truth about it is that our leaders must be sincere. For example, let us even go back to the issue of the election. I don't believe, most times they say pre election matters because. It might burden the court. But the truth is, if the pre election matter is tangential to your victory, it should not be dismissed as pre election matter. If, for example, I know that you're a chief and you deny that you're a chief, I've only found out that you're a chief during the election, which the, the test is also be a pre election matter, I should not dismiss it. I should confirm. Ascertain if you actually cheat and not just to dismiss it to say it's pre election. You don't deal on technicalities like that. You don't. And that is the bane of our society. So I have no problem with thinking with our constitution. No doubt. Because they say it is given to us by the military. They say there are lapses here and there. What of those things that are spelled out that are misinterpreted by the it has nothing really to do that. How will you explain the FCC to a president in Abuja? Is it the constitution? How will you explain a party as senior president? Rocha Zakorasha told him this was. We both contested. How come you are still in the city? Is it constitution? Did the letter affect your facts? Did the letter say you cannot be dominated twice in the same election season? Then what happened? Did the letter have spell out the number of days if there have to be a change of candidate, number of days you take to conduct a, a fresh a primaries? What happened? Did they meet it? Did the court interpret? And you know, once the court says the thing, it is final. So even in the case where you have miscarriage of justice, the court has spoken. And that is it. So it has nothing. Nothing really to do with our laws. First is the ammo. I only apologize. What happened when it was to be clear? The senior president got up and ran to Aso Rock to get clearance for Mr. President. First, he came and apologized. 
He did not explain the money that was budgeted for the seven hundred and twenty thousand people was what? He did not explain that just because he disobeyed the Senate. He was rude. That is the issue. Not the money he collected for the jobs, the employment. Mm. There are two different things. Yeah. He was rude. We have a minister that is serving without NYC. So why do you have the NYC? Why did you go for NYC? We had a former one, is this shit also, who was to go for governorship? They stopped him because of his NYC. And he was ranking. The former Mr. Odaboy. Now we have a serving minister on that team. Then why go for NYC? Why is it compulsory? It has got to do with our laws. It has to do with the individuals. Not the laws. Okay. okay. Uh, well, let's move to the next newspaper, the Guardian newspaper. The Guardian newspaper is leading with despite 2.8 trillion Naira subsidy, power averages 3,000 megawatts in 10 years. This is their big story on the Guardian newspaper. Have you I forgotten? Oh, uh, let me jump a memory a little. I read somewhere. <laughs> is uh, thinking of bowling the idea of giving Nigeria electricity power. It's not a laughable. It's a shame. It's I felt laughable. ashamed. I, I saw that headline. It's not laughable. It is. It's not laughable. It Kenyan is. Kenyan president thinking of giving Nigeria electricity. Look at our dam. Look at the dam. Since Chagari's time, Till now. So when Cameroon opens, we don't have a buffer. Since 1982 to date. And you see we have leadership in this country. It's everybody for yourself and God for us. You're talking about mental state. Let me tell you, there are so many people that have not eaten. They're, most of them, their hopes have fallen. They don't even know how to eat. How to shower? How to? I, I don't know how to describe. It. And you think such persons are mentally stable? Is that what you think? You talk of mental state in this country. Nobody. You don't even know where your next biscuit is coming from. I'm not talking about meal. Biscuit is coming from. That is lovely. It's one thousand to a dollar. One thousand. I don't got back. I told you I ran, I ran, I, I ran, actually to Canada for something. Because we miscalculated. It's a thousand to a dollar in Nigeria. Look, as far back as 86, by the grace of God, some of us started traveling when we were two, three months old. As far back as 86, when my parents said, okay, you are now a big boy, hold your money. We are no longer going to hold this money for you and buy what you want to buy. But we put it. It was six hundred naira to a dollar. I six hundred naira to yeah six hundred naira to a thousand dollars. I changed. I used the Nigerian currency to buy things. Everything. Mm -hmm. I did not the Nigerian currency, and we were most respected. It is a thousand naira to dollar. Because you have persons loading the dollars, not naira, loading the dollars in their cars, in their houses. You have characters who who, who, who have supplied dollars in bullion vans. In bullion vans. We saw it in the last election. Not this 2020. We saw it. Bullion vans. He just mm -hmm. missed his way to and this company. The, best, the, best, the best person had, had the guts to say, after it, is it not my money? How did you get it? Your money, how did you get it? Explain. They asked a question about, now, Maureen, I said, you say you claim you went to, uh, hypothetically, you went to MGC, but I got. I go to court to say, Mario, come to NBC and explain to come to explain to the world how you when you left NBC for that court. Then Mario, you now go to court to get an order restraining me from asking you how you got how we went here, you finished. I, I, I can't understand it. 
What I that get an injunction restraining you from asking me what year you finished? All of a sudden now, it's found news for you, man, to tell me a man said he was your classmate. That one is news. I can mention one million of my classmates. Even some have forgotten who remember me. Some that have forgotten me will remember them. I get a restraining order so that he, you, you, you do, uh, the FDC protocol will not speak on whether you attended the school or not. What kind of country are we living in? What kind of society is this? Hmm. You get it, like in River State, there is a restraining order. The anti grant agencies cannot probe River State finance. Under the What are we talking about here, please? What are we talking about? Are we talking of a country? This is high, high, high level of insanity. If you go to the waterline, you see a madman controlling traffic. With the stick, and the so called same people are respecting the madman. But what times the policeman will say, Don't pass, you pass. What a line, a madman controlling the <laughs> oh, open up, but let's move forward. If we we'll continue like this, we won't end this discussion. Private sector, yes, private sector CSOs kick as NLC decides on indefinite strike tomorrow. I know what your mind, what you're going to say about that. So let's move. I've said it already. I've said it already. Yes. Strike. Yeah. Let's let's take our dress in our house and forget NLC. NLC is just a political tool. Yes. By some hungry, stupid cup, human beings. Forget NLC. Let me read out the other headlines. NLC. Paris Club, yes. uh, Paris Climate Agreement, Nigeria and hypocrisy of polluter countries. Let's leave that. Oil theft, Navy arrest eight vessels laden with diesel in River State. What happening to your yeah, state? Because the, because the vessels did not pay now. They did not pay the Navy now. Or oh, that would you have heard it? Is it the first time? They did not pay the vet. They did not agree on the sum. Would you have heard? And the military were not involved. Have we heard about the captain who was involved in Bunkery and all those things? Did you hear about the captain that was, they said he was arrested? Did you hear the DPO that Jason Mivy complained about when he was a governor? Mm. What happened to the transferring? What happened to the last naval guy? What happened to a naval officer that was refused to be promoted from Komodo to Rear Admiral just because he exposed the Navy that complained about a few months ago on national dailies? Is it because they did not compromise it? What happened to Buratai? Was he not uh, 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 rewarded with the uh, uh, Basara appointment? When even the former NSA said there was no justification, nothing was, was seen on ground. The successor said the same thing, that nothing to justify the amount they received was given by a personal appointment. So is it because they did not bribe this one? They only refused to bribe this one. What about it? When they catch them and they, 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 there is any controversy, what they do is burn it. To kill all evidence, and they come up with all kinds of stupid stories. Burn it. To kill all the evidence. And that's it. One of the number of that was arrested outside, outside Nigeria. What happened? Did you go through uh, the, 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 the naval issue by my rest outside? Did you go through naval, na, 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 naval ways? Because they did not bribe this one. Mm. Then you come to here. Is that what news? Okay. Another, <laughs> another <laughs> a very worrisome headline here is uh, Body laments only 84 pediatric uh, dentists for over 200 million Nigerians. It's still on The Guardian there. Uh, you say what is alarming? What is alarming there? Eight, well, 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 the brain, in the entire know. country. Well, well, the brain, yes. Uh -huh. what, what, why would they be? Why would they have that message to that level? Remain in Nigeria when there are dinner patches outside. Hmm. What would they be doing here? So that they become insane? <laughs> they are going to say that. <laughs> so that they become insane. Say that climbs. you go to better climbs. They did not go to school to come and suffer. They don't say facts. They didn't go to school to come and suffer. They went to school to better their lives and the lives of their families. Members of their families. Not to suffer. Most of them are even frustrated. The insane, and that's why I said, even the leaders are insane. Insanity does not mean you have to take off your clothes. You know what thinking alone can do? When 
when you look at when you look back and look at the kids, they're not eating. They can't go to school. You can't fix your car. Even if you are living in your house, it's dilapidated. You can't pay for a subscribe to your DSTV. You can't live the life you want to live. And you have a government that is insensitive and telling you lies all day. What are you doing in this country? When if you live this country, the shores of this country, you're treated as a king. What are you doing here? That's what you're talking about uh, five years after. It is so stupid. Is that what you should be addressing? Uh, you cannot live the country until five years after graduation. Why not address the issues? Okay. That's responsible for the flights. Why should you be addressing? That, that is draconian. To tell me I can't leave. What nonsense is that? Let's take and a cup of coffee. Very soon it will be two. It will be two. Very soon you watch it will be two. Ha, ha, ha. From ah. 84 to 2. Uh -oh. Please, another player we can see. Oh. Open up. It's when, unfortunate. It's when really Sometimes, really after all this newspaper analysis, you mm. need a therapist. <laughs> 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 you take a cup of coffee, take a lot of milk. You need a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me at all. Yeah. Open up, thank you for your time. It's always. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> always a blast. Always a blast with you on, on Of the Press. Mm. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Tari, a political affairs analyst, has joined us from River State and off the press. You take a look at uh, the headlines on some national dailies this morning. Uh, we are still on the breakfast and we'll be coming back in a moment with our first hot topic. Stay with us. It's getting hotter. <laughs>